this, this is an amazing story. An American soldier who didn't fire a gun, but who wielded the mightiest weapon of all. A love for his brothers so pure that he was willing to die so that they might live. They came for him, and over the protests and tears of the men who loved him, the guards sent him to a death house. Two days later, in that house of death, Father Capon breathed his last breath. His body was taken away, his grave unmarked, his remains unrecovered to this day. It was unlikely that his remains would ever be returned. I always thought it would be wonderful if we did have his remains, but, but that's just not to be. Well, today, today, 70 years after he died in that prison camp. Today, the U.S. Army announced that his remains have been located. He has been found. I saw her home phone ring, said he has some information about your uncle and wants to talk to you about it. Never in my life would have ever expected to get that call. Never. I think the POWs have been waiting for this moment because in a way, that's them taking care of the best of them. He is, he's just a special person whose life can represent an inspiration to others. By far the greatest man I ever knew was uh, Father Capone. Yeah, Father Emil's coming home. Finally coming home. <laughs>